guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video has been highly requested. You guys left comments letting me know that you wanted me to do my everyday makeup routine. And I thought that since I've sort of already shared an everyday makeup routine video on my channel, I will leave a link for it down below if you guys haven't checked that out and a card will come across the screen for you guys to click. I thought today's video, instead of doing sort of a recreation of that because I still wear that look constantly, I would share with you guys my no makeup makeup looks. So for those of you guys who don't want to bother with lashes or eyeshadow, this is the look for you. It's 15 minutes, it's super easy and it doesn't have too many products to deal with. So for those of you who wanna learn how this look gets done, just stay tuned. But quickly before we get into the video, I wanted to do a few announcements. I wanted to officially say congratulations on my YouTube channel to Corinne and Valerie who won my YouTube giveaway. I also made an announcement on Instagram for those of you who follow me on Instagram. If you haven't yet, go hit that follow button. And I did an um, announcement for the Instagram winners. You guys go head over there to see who they are. And uh, quickly, if you guys are new to this channel, hi. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you guys don't miss out on any of my videos. Anyway, guys, enough of my rambly intro. Let's jump right into the video. All right, so we're starting off really casual. Hair is up in a messy bun. Just got a really comfy sweater on. And I thought I would keep it really authentic to really how I would do my makeup if I'm doing a no makeup makeup look. So I've already put on my base and it's always my usual. My moisturizer is the Vino Positively Radiant Moisturizer. This has SPF 15. It's my favorite moisturizer. I've talked about this on and on and on to you guys. I love it and it doesn't have any kickback even though it has SPF, but it's really good for your skin because when you're outside, you need that protection. So I have this, but I have been thinking about getting the Too Faced Hangover X, is that what it's called, Hangover X um, primer, just because my skin has been really dry the past couple of days. We have been having like a crazy cold snap here in the East Coast and it's just been really windy and cold, but it has been affecting my skin and also my lips. And speaking of my lips, I primed it with the uh, Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. For my base for this like no makeup makeup look, I really like lightweight bases in general, that's my default. But today even more so, you know, whenever I just kind of want to schlep on a face and not look like I try too hard, I use my Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. This is in the color Tan 07. And then I apply it with my Beauty Blender. This is really damp. I like this um, more damp than usual, especially if I'm not trying to do like a big glam look because then it's just, it lets my skin show through and it's a, it shears out the foundation a lot more than if it were a little bit less Damp. So it's just dabbing this all on my face. And then just taking the beauty blender and then just bouncing it all over my skin. So just to add a little bit more coverage, I'm going to use the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion. This is in the color C5.5. I think there's a name associated with this. Yeah, Natural Tan. I'm going to take this and just add a little bit more coverage. Since I don't want to use too much concealer today, I just use this to just sort of beef up the Bare Minerals. And I just sort of pack it on, dip it in here, and then pack it on with my Beauty Blender. I generally like to put a little bit more coverage sort of towards the center of my face and then also try to cover up the veins I have. So concealer, this is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the color Medium Neutral. I really just use this to sort of brighten up my under eyes and then just sort of do a little bit extra in terms of like concealing right around my nose. I just do a few drops in the right eye like this and then sort of focusing right here around my nose, down the bridge of my nose and then I always have some dark spots, like right between my eyebrows. Something there. Since I did do a light base, I just wanted to put a little bit more coverage where I need it. And just to brighten the under eyes. But nothing too intense. I really like to set just sort of my under eye, leaving sort of everything else to be really dewy. And I am taking a blush brush, just any fluffy brush, and I'm using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit. So I'm using Diffuse Light here to just sort of set my under eyes. This way everything else will look dewy, but I want to avoid my under eyes from creasing. So to give my face a little bit of dimension, I'm gonna put some bronzer on, and then I think I'm gonna mix a little bit of contour powder. I'm not gonna do a full contour 
on my face, but I do like to use the ambient lighting edit. I'm gonna use the bronzer shade here and it's called the Luminous Light Bronze. I'm using it on a Real Techniques, what is this? I think blush brush, just dusting it all over my cheeks. Also using it as like a little bit of contour on my forehead and then under the jawline. And then I take my Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow. I take the bronze shade using the same brush to sort of tap that and then sort of slowly carve out the cheekbone, but very lightly, not putting too much on. I'm really just like lightly tapping it in. We still want cheekbones, even if it's a no makeup makeup look. For blush, I just want a really natural flush, which is why I'm picking up this Becca blush right here in the color Amaretto. And this is in the Champagne Splits. And I really like this because, as you guys will see, it's just sort of a very natural blush for me. It's like, it looks like whenever the wind hits me and I get a little bit windswept, that's sort of the color that this gives. Now we're going to work on our eyes and for a no makeup makeup look, I really focus on my eyebrows. So I've sort of been playing around with like my eyebrow routine. I've changed it up a bit and I've sort of done a combo of the precisely my brow and a brow powder. That's kind of what I've been really liking right now. So it's been working and I really like the look and the effect. So I am using a eyebrow brush. This is from the brand Royal and Wang Nickel. It's just um, a short, thin, angled brush and I am using a brow powder from Bodyography and it's in the color 3595 Essential. I really like to blend both of these and then I use it to line the tops of my brows and give myself a little bit more fullness and help with the shape. And I can do a full brow tutorial for you guys if you want. Leave me a comment down below if you guys want to see that. Otherwise I'm just going to zip right through this. Once I have the powder in place, I then take my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. This is in the color four, and I draw in the hairs. I don't know, to me it looks, it's a little bit more believable that I do have these wonderfully full brows. One of the things I always like to do is I always like to have a spoolie handy because then it sort of softens anything that you put on and doesn't make it look too, too harsh. To lock everything into place, I'm using Benefit Gimme Brow. This is in number five. Comb it through my brows like so. And then take off any excess with sort of a empty spoolie brush. I just like to brush my brows upward just because it sort of makes them look a little bit more natural naturally bushy. <laughs> for eyes, for this look, we're not gonna need to get too in depth. I am using my eye primer. This is the MAC Paints in the color Still Life. Because this is a no makeup makeup look, I also use this like triple duty. I use this as an inner corner highlight, a brow bone highlight, and also an eye primer. And then also, I really like the sort of shine and the highlight that this gives. So since I want more of a natural highlight. I don't want to use any powders. I'm just going to use Still Life on the tops of my cheeks. Just sort of pat it in with my fingers. And just because we want a natural look doesn't mean we have to give up our glow. I always have to highlight down the bridge of my nose. So to sort of set my eyeshadow primer, I'm going to be using just a bone color. This one has a bit of a pink undertone. This is Max Eyeshadow in the color Orb. And I'm using a Real Techniques, I wanna say that this is a, yeah, dome shadow brush. And I set my brow bone and then I bring it down into my crease and onto my lid. So then I like to take the bronzer shade I use. This one is the Luminous Bronze Light from the Ambient Lighting Edit. And I take a fluffy brush. This is the MAC 224 brush. And I just pick some up and I add some color to my crease. Nothing too much, just sort of adding a bit of dimension to my eyelids. So one of the things I like to do when I'm doing sort of this look is to sort of trick the eye into thinking I have fuller lashes than I do. I've told you guys this many times. With just mascara, my lashes are really just, they're just puny, they're not great. And so adding a bit of eyeliner will just sort of help with that. And so I like to use this Rimmel Scandalize Cole Kajal in the color 003 Brown. And I just sort of haphazardly line 
don't worry about having precise lines. We don't really care about that. So I haphazardly, haphazardly, <laughs> I haphazardly draw a line um, over my top lashes and then I slightly flick it out a bit. Don't worry about being too precise because we're going to take a blending brush. This one is just a pointed liner brush. Any sort of pencil brush you have works and we're gonna smudge this out. And what I'm doing is I'm flicking out the ends and smudging out that slight wing and it pulls the eye upward. I have downward turned eyes, so I always have to try to make them look a little bit more awake and pull them upward. So I always either do a cat eye or just some sort of like wing shape. One of the other tricks that I use to sort of trick the eye into thinking I have fuller lashes is to tight line and I'm using a black eyeliner. This is just a coal liner. This is my Max Factor Liquid Effect pencil in the color 10 black that black fire? Yeah, black fire. And I just put this underneath and cover any skin that could be showing. So then I take my eyelash curler. I'm using a Revlon drugstore brand. I really like this. Because my lashes are downward facing, I have to sort of work at it. And I just sort of crimp the lashes quite a bit. For my lashes, the more I curl them, the better they look with mascara because I use waterproof mascara and I really coat my lashes as you guys will see in a bit where the better curl they are before I put the mascara on, the better the mascara will perform. So let's talk mascara. I always have to use two. Right now I am using this Fairy Drops mascara. It's a Japanese brand. I'm not entirely sure which one this is exactly. My sister got this for me when she was living in Singapore. So. If I can figure out what the name of this one is, I will leave it in the description box below. And then I'm also using the Lancome Grandiose Mascara. Both of these are in the color black. So what I do is I take the Fairy Drops Mascara and I use it to sort of separate my lashes. Then I take the Lancome Grandiose Mascara and then I just sort of pack it on top of the Fairy Drops and try to separate my lashes without making a mess, but, or likely make a mess, let's be real. Now we're gonna put some mascara on our bottom lashes. Last but not least is lips. I don't really want to wear a liquid lipstick whenever I'm just putting on an everyday look, just because liquid lipstick to me is very, very drying. I don't need that long lasting power. I just need some color on my lips. So I am using the Maybelline Mattes. This is 657 Nude Nuance. I love this. It's still a matte color, but it's super comfortable on. It's really easy to wear. And I can just chuck this in my handbag and I can constantly reapply. And then sort of just to sheer it out a little bit. I take my finger and just sort of push the color into my lips. Here you go guys, this is my no makeup makeup look. I really hope you guys like it. I really love this look. I rock it quite a bit. If I'm not wearing makeup and I don't wanna go full glam, this is my default. If you guys love this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys again for watching. If you guys have any makeup looks you want me to do, leave them in the comments down below. And also for a full list of the products that I use, I will leave them down in the description box below with links so you guys can purchase any of these products if you guys don't already have it. So if you guys want to see more videos from me and you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you guys don't miss any videos from me. Thank you guys. I really appreciate all your support. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.